Yoko ran off, leaving me alone at my friend door. I sat at the long and tiring day I had and entered my house. After helping my family out with the shrine, I locked myself into my room to do my homework. Soon after, I went to bed. That sounds nice. This wasn't at all how I was planning my first day of school to go. How bothersome. How bothersome. Uh. Guess there isn't much use in complaining. What happened, happened. Maybe the person who was following me was a megger, so it was a one-time thing. Get your hopes up. Or... Ugh, I don't want to think about it. I'm off to school. Right. Have a good day, too. I kept feeling like I was being watched almost all the way here. But it could just be my imagination because of yesterday. Yamaguchi, senpai. Oh, uh, Nishimura Kohai, correct? Is everything all right? You look troubled. Uh, well... I've just been paranoid this morning. But it's nothing to get worked up about, really. You had to run off so suddenly yesterday. Would you maybe like to learn more about the cult club since you're here early? Sure. Why not? I don't see any harm Would you maybe that. like to learn more about me? I mean, because I'm the vice president is all. I'm not gay. I'm so fucking gay. It's a fucking heart. Heart. That's just what I'm going to say. I think that's the first time I've seen her smile. She's kind of cute when she smiles. She must really be dedicated to her club. No, oh, she's dedicated to something, all right? That pussy's calling. So your family owns a shrine. Are you a Miko in training? Uh, well, I used to be learning to be a shrine maiden, but it was sort of getting dangerous. So they allowed me to make my own decision whether to continue or not. Dangerous? Like my pussy's wanting for you. I won't pry. So, what got you into the occult? Ever since I was young, I had a fascination and sensitivity to supernatural things. I met you that way. In fact, when I first met you, I never met anyone with your sort of presence. In my pussy quiver. But there's also a force that is following you, it feels. Demonic. Give me your hand. Sekiel shot me a slightly bewildered glance, but complied with my request without a question. Hmm. Yes. I feel that you do have powers. This is true. The energy flows through you. Though, I would say that you haven't got much control over it. But from lack of mentorship... Maybe you could mentor me. I'm almost reading over lines of super romantic or sensual sounding. It's so weird for a Tukiko. Mm, remember how I said that things were dangerous for me? Well, I don't think I should be part of this club for that reason. I am followed by terrible luck. Like an anti-leprechaun. I could protect you. I'm not just worried about myself. I could endanger you and everyone else in the club. Protect that pussy. We can learn to control things together. We could help you. That's what we do in this club, after all. Uh, I'll need to think about it. Think about it with your pussy. I'm sorry. I'll stop the pussy jokes. Of course. Take your time. I didn't mean to push you. Don't worry about it. Would you like me to walk you to class? Yes, please. A woo woo. I know it's the woo woo face, but a woo woo. <laughs> I suppose. 
if that's what you want. Huh, she seems like this big and tippeting goth girl, but she actually is quite a cutie, huh? So, 1-3 is your class, right? No. Well, if you ever need to find me, I'm in class 2-1. Silent, eh? I'll see you later then. Have a good day. <coughs> yeah, nice talking to you too. Hello, Suki chan. Ah, Katsumi kan. What's with this chan business? You ready for a little study date at my house? Oh, yeah. I did tell my parents about it. I almost forgot. Probably because you didn't say hi to me this morning or during lunch. I'm surprised that you didn't. Well, you just seem like you like being alone and keeping a low profile, so I thought I'd respect that. A low profile? If anyone were to harass you because of how close we are, I could never forgive myself. She's acting like we're dating. So says that. I feel like I'm making. I'm not gonna make another pussy joke. But at least she's expecting that boundaries. So that's actually really cool of her. I never realized the vocals in the background of this song. All right, let's get going. I was waiting for her speaking. That's waiting for audio. <sighs> okay. This is your house? Mm-hmm. Really exquisite piece of work. No. This isn't a house. It's a mansion. I'm just asking. That one that's just growing in. <laughs> True. Let's go inside. Someone is anxious to see you. Wait, what? Welcome home, Takahashi-sama. And welcome, Yamaguchi-sama. Oh, Kaza-chan, no need to be so formal in front of Suki-chan. She is our friend, after all. Uh, Masushita Kazashi, what are you doing here? And Asking the important me. questions. You recognize her right away, but not me. Well, I am Katsusama's maid. You're getting close to dropping the formalities. You see, Suki-chan, Katsu-chan is my twin sister. Then why is she That's your important maid? Questions. And if you're sisters, why do you have different family names? Because our mother is a whore. Enough about that. Let's move to the other room to have some tea. Well, that was weird. So I never knew you two were siblings, let alone twins. Well, yes, our parents don't like advertising that about us. But that doesn't stop us from being as close as we are. It's actually why we played in the. Pr actually why we played in the area we did. I'm not allowed to play with children of status like Katsu-sama. That's really rough. They seem to act like they are ashamed of you or something. But that wouldn't explain why I didn't realize you were wealthy. They have no right to be ashamed of my beautiful, intelligent, caring, and hard-working sister. They are the ones they should be ashamed of. Katsumi... Let's not talk about that! How have you been? How was the big city? Uh, oh, lost it there. No, too self. Don't talk about their family. Sounds like a sore subject. Pros and cons like everywhere else. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. I didn't really make many friends. People were too intimidated by me. <laughs> Wasn't that gloomy attitude you carry around, or that amazing brain? Ooh, let me guess! Both! Sure, 
yeah, I'm just an unlikable person by nature. Aw, oh, don't be so sore. You are also unbelievably smart. No. Ah, uh, yes. You got into British old girl school with just grades alone, I hear. How do you guys know this? I have connections. What is that even supposed to mean? Speaking of grades, you told me this would be a study day, not a friendly little reunion. Why can't it be both? I mean, it sort of was supposed to be both. After all, it's been such a long time since we've seen each other. Perhaps I'll step out so while you two go study. Yeah. Perhaps I'll step out a little while you two study. If you need anything, just call for me. Nonsense. You can study with us. Actually, I've never seen you at school. Are you in a different class or just go to another school? I'm homeschooled. Katsusama acts as my tutor most of the time. And that's why I think you should study with us, Kazuchan. I bet Suki could be of good help. Big help. Aren't I here to get helped by you? Katsusama, don't force Suki into things that she didn't agree to. No, it's okay. I'm fine with helping out. So, where shall we start? It had been forever since I had found myself... Found studying to actually be a fun activity. Katsumi is also a lot smarter than I took her for. <clears throat> when it got late, I decided to head out so I could get home before dark. I better get going. Aww, we were just having so much fun. Maybe next time you could sleep over. Woo woo. Let me walk you home. You can't. That was so pathetic sounding. You have something to do. Remember? Oh yes, that's right. I'm sorry, Suki. Maybe next time I can have a driver take you home. Maybe next time I can have a driver take you home. That's alright. Really, I'm fine with walking. I don't want to put anyone into any trouble anyway. Sorry, Suki Sama. That's alright. Don't worry about it. Good luck with whatever it is you're doing. Thanks for not prying. No problem. Wait, did she not move her mouth? Huh? Uh, nothing. Never mind. I think it was just my imagination. Well, I'll be off. Please get home safely. I'm sure she'll be fine. She's a very capable girl. But that pussy. <sighs> Again, speaking like they know me. Right. I'll be off. Good night. See you tomorrow, Cat Chan. Oh, woo! I ran out before she could object to the nickname coming from me. I almost got lost on the way home, but eventually managed to find my way back. To my surprise, Yoko was standing outside my house. Yoko Senpai? What are you doing here? Ah, so you're still alive! I thought maybe that stalker got ya! Were you waiting for me to make sure I got home? No! I was waiting to see the stock was show up so I could whack him. Sure. So you just waited out here to try and attack them. Yeah, so. Whatever. We're not a judge or a hobby. <laughs> exactly! You can't judge me. Well, actually, I can. I'm just Smart choice. Not. Whatever. Is that like your favorite word or something? What? I know you said it was only so you could just throttle my stalker, but thanks for making sure I got home safe anyway. You're welcome. Now you owe me. No. No, I don't. Fine, what? Well, 
What? Oh, there we go. There. Okay. Fine, whatever. Dot, dot, dot. So why are you home so late? Club activity. No. Someone made me come over to their... house. Made you? What are you, a pushover or something? Do I seem like a pushover? Point taken, I guess. So are you not in a club? Are you only asking to see if I'm I want to ask you what because I want to flip the pussy? Rock hell, it's that easy to get in my gang. I don't even know if you got what it takes. For all I know, you're nothing but spoiled little shrine maiden. I'll tell you a secret. I'm related to someone who was in a You sound so life. boring. Sure you were. I'm saying it sound. It's starting to sound like you want me to... It's starting to sound like, to me, that you want to join my game. Look, I'm not in... Yuko suddenly pushed me behind as she got into a defensive pose like she was just preparing for a counterattack. For that pussy. What are you... Shh, stay back! I began to listen and heard the sound of something approaching. Yuka suddenly did a quick movement as though she threw something into the distance despite me not seeing any small weapons. A cat suddenly jumped out of the corner and ran into the other direction. Pfft, it was nothing. You should probably get inside before your parents think you've been kidnapped or something. It's curfew soon and something tells me you're goody good. I'm not go- Yeah, don't want to keep my parents waiting any longer. This music bro. Have a nice night, Yoko Senpai. Don't get kidnapped for the next time I see you, you got it, Suki Kohai! Yoko began to run off and turn the corner, but I could see her peek over to keep an eye on me, probably trying to make sure I got into my house safely. It was kind of sweet and cute in its own weird, annoying way. I went inside my home, ate my dinner, helped my family tidy up, and then went to sleep. Today was annoying. But it wasn't too bad, actually. It's nice to know I'm not the only one with abilities. And Sakiko was cute when she smiled. And then it was enjoyable to see Kazashi again. She always was the sweet one. And it looks like Katsumi is a very nice twin, despite them only being half-sisters. Very protective. It's sort of lovely, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure Yoko has an endearing side and was just making up excuses. I mean, she's a leader after all, and I'm sure she's the kind of person who looks after her members. Maybe this year won't be too bad. Though I'll probably be very bothersome and tiresome. Now I wonder if it's worth it. When I got to school, a bunch of girls were glaring at me, whispering behind my back. I could have sworn I heard Katsumi's name several times. Guess people have been noticing her favoritism towards me, and they really don't like it. I've also heard people whispering about the occult club thing. I even found something on my desk calling me an occultist freak with a weird symbol on it. But what would happen if someone found out that I was hanging out with a Yankee? This was exactly the sort of thing I wanted to avoid. Now on my third day of school, I am already subject to ridicule and rumors. I'm sure the rest of the club members go through this too. Perhaps I'll go there if they're all antisocial like Sakiko. Or maybe I'll look around school just to find somewhere quiet and isolated. Then again, hanging out in the classroom has been a safe bet. Just because of the musical choice, I'm going to choose check out the Cold Club. I think I'm going to choose the first option just for the shits and giggles. Maybe one day I'll go and record all the different options if I get requested to do so. So check out the Cold Club. Taking my chances, I went to the Cold Club room hoping that they were a the type of people who would keep their space like Sakiko. I made my way toward the club room and heard some snickering behind my back as I approached, as I approached the door. I ignore the chatter and open the door. Love it. 
Sikyo didn't seem to notice me at first. She was looking at something on the table she sat at. There was a few gothic or punk girls in the club room, but it wasn't enough to make a full club, meaning that there were more of them. A few stopped up. A few stopped at what they were doing to look at, at me. I probably didn't fit in terribly well to their standards. Eventually, they shrugged it off and continued their task. I shipped those two. That's when I looked back over at Sakiko and to see her staring right back at me. H hey, how's it going? As always, the silent type. Guess I didn't really come to chat anyways. We meet on Thursdays. Huh? If you're really interested, you can check us out tomorrow after school. Wow, that's convenient. Photography club meets on Fridays. You're joining photography club? Maybe. Can I sit with you? Shigo gave a subtle nod and pulled a chair. And I pulled a chair, a chair up to the table. She wasn't keen on making eye contact and was even worse with speaking. I just quietly ate lunch next to her and it was like she wasn't even there. Did you make your lunch? Wow, she finally speaks and it's something random. Yes, I did. Would you like to try some? Now that I think about it, I don't see her eating. Did she not bring her food with her? Mm-hmm. Woo. <laughs> She's really cute for a tall, dark, and gloomy girl. I gave her a few I gave her some spare stops. I gave her some spare chopsticks I had, and she took a little bit from my bento. Thank you. It's delicious. Thank you. I made it myself. So, where's your food? <sighs> Sorry. I've been there too. People are awful. I hate them. Almost makes demons and ghosts more appealing. <laughs> Almost. You're fucking yonderry. My pussy likes that. You can have some of my lunch anytime you need some. Burn me right in the pussy! Why did you come in here today? <laughs> Sorry. Why did you come in here today? Hmm? Clubs don't meet during lunch, just after school. Uh, for some peace and quiet, I guess. I thought the club room would be just as peaceful as you are. My antisocial behavior doesn't bother you or put you off. Nah, it's nice for a change. Especially at a school for girls who are all about being popular and showy and loud. I just noticed that there's a lack of shading on her hair down there. But aren't you friends of Takahashi, senpai? Katsumi-sama? Uh, I'm not really sure, but I guess she's different about it than the others, surprisingly. It's hard to explain, but honestly, she's the one always initiating the conversation and whatnot. So, you're really not that close? Well, when we were kids... But it's been such a long time since I've seen her. I feel like I don't really know her, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I came to be quiet and I have talked the most. I strangely don't mind too much. So, do you have any friends in the club? Sue kept her gaze away from me, seeming to put her focus elsewhere. Back to silence again, huh? No problem. Thought it would have been interesting to find out more about her, I guess. Want some more food since you took so little? I really don't mind. Is she just flat out ignoring me now? 
Geez, someone's more antisocial than me. Oh well, can't be helped. I did want peace and quiet after all. Oh, we should. <laughs> We continued to sit in silence with each other as she sifted through the papers and documents on the table. As soon as, she, as soon as lunch came to a close and then I went to my classroom ignoring the gawking brats on my way.